friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Somos Biology. And in this video lecture, we want to talk about the dark field microscopy. In this series of videos, we are talking about the microscopy principle and microscopy mechanism of action. Now, in the last video, we have talked about the bright field microscopy. And I told you the working principle of bright field microscope. And I told you that in a bright field microscopy, we visualize the sample as a dark colored comp uh, component and the background as a very white colored heavy lit component. But in dark field microscopy, the idea is reverse. Now the reason we use dark field microscopy is the disadvantages of, to, to reduce the disadvantages of light field or bright field microscopy. Because in bright field microscope, one big disadvantage is not to be able to distinguish between the background and the sample because of the lower contrast ratio between the background and foreground, right? Because the sample we use, if we do not stain them, we cannot visualize their structure and extremities quite well with the help of bright film microscopy due to the presence of very heavily lit background. So, in order to prevent that, we use a dark film microscopy where we can see a sample without staining even all the details restored at the same time. So, let's talk about the dark field. So, instead of bright, we are going to talk about the dark field, the dark field microscopy. So this is another type of light microscope, but in this light microscope, we do not allow most of the light to enter into the specimen. Okay, We block maximum portion of the straight angle light to hit the sample. How? Let's talk about that. Remember in bright field microscopy, I told you that the background is white and the sample is dark. But in case of dark field microscopy, the background is dark. The background is dark. So I, I must change this. So this should be the background. Like this. Background will be dark. And the sample, if I draw them, it will look something like this. Sample looks white. Sample looks white sample or specimen looks no color or you can say white in color okay so in a dark field microscope if we do not place any sample okay then the field of view looks exactly like black it looks black when no sample is placed. But when sample is placed, we are going to see a black background and the sample, the, the region of the sample can be visualized something like this. And you can clearly see the extremities of the specimen quite well with the help of the dark field microscopy. Now the question is how exactly the dark field microscopy works. Okay. Here is that. Now the dark field microscopy. In dark field microscopy we prevent most of the light entering into the sample with the help of a filter. Okay. So what kind of filter we are talking about. Let's assume this is the source. And this is the condenser. And this is about the bright film light microscope. How it looks like? The condenser and aperture uh, regulator that is the diaphragm is there. Then this is the sample. Then this is objective. This is eyepiece. So normally in light microscope, light is hitting this, this. So this is the idea, okay? Let me mark them. This is eyepiece. This is objective. This is sample stage. This is uh, the condenser and diaphragm combo. This is the light source. The key for the light microscopy, the light source. So in this process, we can see the very heavily lit background and the stained specimen. So that's why in light microscopy, we always need 
stain specimen to watch for. Now, what about the dark film microscope here? In the dark film microscope, we have the and then after source, source and condenser, source and condenser, light source and condenser. We have a plate that prevents most of the light to pass into that. And the plate looks something like this. You can draw something like this. It looks something like this, okay? So, three-dimensional plate. Imagine a plate which is made with two components. The dark colored shaded region is made up with a component which will not allow any light to pass. They will absorb the light. And this white ring, the ring structure, white ring structure will allow the light to pass. Okay. So, if I draw it like this, it will look something like that. Okay. It will look something like two slits are present. So, now what will happen? The light... From the, sample, uh, from the source moves something like this. Now, this is condenser. So, we will hit the condenser like this and they will move to the sample. This is the sample and then we have the objective, then we have the eyepiece. So, again sample, objective, eyepiece. Now this light are going to move to this sample. Let me draw it like this straight. Need to draw it different. Straight light comes in. And then they are moving like this. Okay. So, via condenser reaches the sample. And from the sample, this light, there are two types of light originated from the sample. Okay. One set of light, remember that the most of the light that is coming from this side. So, there is a total length of light coming from the source, but it is blocked by this filter. Only few slits of lights are allowed. The most of the light which are direct light. So, this is a direct light. This direct light are blocked by the filter. Only the light which much angle allowed to pass via the condenser to the sample. And in the sample, if the light is blank, if nothing is present, then all this light will remain non-scattered light. Because if there is no sample, no scattered light will be present. Hmm? So, what will happen? Most of this light will move. Okay? And as a result, no light will hit the eye. So, it will look like the background to be absolutely dark. So, if there is no sample, there won't be any scattered light. If there is no diffracted light, if there is no diffracted light, all the light will pass surrounding the objective lens. So, objective will, will not gather any amount of light. So, we will not see anything in the background. The background will look absolute black, absolute dark. Got it? The difference between the light microscope of bright field and dark field. Try to understand. Okay? No sample, no diffraction. Let me write. No sample, no diffraction. But remember one thing, in bright field microscopy also, if there is no sample, no diffraction. But now you will see the other difference, is when the sample is present, then some amount of light will be diffracted, okay, by the sample. So let's say the blue colored light is a diffracted light, which is gathered, which is gathered by the objective and that light will be projected. That light will be projected. 
in the eyepiece or ocular we can see an image image of what only the light coming from the illumination to the sample or subject but the background will remain dark so this is the idea of dark field microscope so when sample is present there are two types of light produced one diffracted and second non diffracted now the job of dark field microscope is to only gather the diffracted light and pass it through objective lens then to eye piece and then or we can say ocular lens then to eye so we can only visualize the light coming from the sample not from the background so we can see the sample moderately or very minutely uh, lit and the background will be dark when there is a the non diffracted light will not pass through objective but in bright field microscopy both the diffracted and non diffracted light light hits the objective but in case of dark field microscopy the diffracted light is only allowed to be gathered by the objective non diffracted light will not be allowed to be gathered they will always pass okay and as a result of which we can only see the sample to be gathered some amount of light and the background to be absolutely dark that's why we see a sample in the absolute dark background and it gives us high amount of contrast because anything if you imagine the background is dark and you are drawing something with any color it's going to pop up with high contrast okay you just make a dark background and take any color in your computer either is white yellow green red whatever color you, you pick you are going to almost see that if it's light color you are going to see that with much higher contrast ratio that is the job of dark field microscopy because in dark, dark field microscopy uh, we uh, can be able to see single cell orga organisms like paramecium amoeba okay or we, we can see different uh, plant uh, spores we can visualize them quite well because these structures they have almost like many of the extra cytoplasmic structures or you can say the let's say this is this is one uh, single cell organelle and they have the cilia coming out of the cell you cannot visualize the individual cilia with the help of a bright field microscopy because it will all seem saturated with light but in dark field microscopy you can see the heavily dark background and individual cilia is a small white lines but still you can understand about the overall shape and structure of the specimen that you are looking under a dark field microscopy so a, the job of dark field microscopy is always to give us a better resolution of the image with the help of very dark background and very light colored specimen uh, as a, to generate contrast and to find a proper visualization of the shape and size not size but shape and overall structure of the sample not only for the external or extremities of the sample but you can still see some of the internal structures if they have any nucleus or any part of the body they, you can still see because of the position of different cellular components in different uh, focal points you are going to still see a different image depending upon the scattered deviations but still that can be well understood with the help of confocal microscopy we are going to talk about the later but with the help of the dark field microscopy we can visualize uh, the the size uh, the, the shape and structure not size but shape and structure of the specimen we can visualize their extremities quite well now for your understanding sake i am going to show you a picture an image in my computer showing the contrast between uh, the light field micro like bright field microscopy with that of the dark field microscopy and you can uh, judge it yourself the difference between the two and you can see clearly for this specimen the dark field microscopy gives much better understanding for this specimen the dark field microscopy gives a much better and clear uh, uh, what you can say uh, resolution as well as clear contrast ratio to visualize that so now think about the advantages of dark field microscopy dark field microscopy is used to visualize the structure and uh, shape of a uh, specimen and we can use specimens without staining them because we don't need to put light through the specimen we are blocking most of the light only the diffraction study is used uh, to finally light uh, the specimen little bit not very much 
So no staining is required. Okay. So let me write that property as well. In dark field microscopy, no staining is needed. So you can clearly directly see a specimen as it is. So it's very good to visualize live specimen. It's very good to look at the hanging drop experiment to see the bacteria and any other organisms. They are moving and, and they are living conditions. So that's a big advantage of dark field microscope. But the dark field microscope uh, is able uh, to give us a better contrast compared to the bright field microscope. But this is not the best to give us the best contrast. Right? To get the best contrasting images, we need to rely on another variety of microscopy that is known as the phase contrast microscopy. In the phase contrast microscopy, we are going to utilize a different property of light and uh, the phase we, we generate a phase contrast and what we mean by phase contrast we are going to talk about in the next video. But utilizing the phase contrast, we are going to see the sample with even better contrast ratio compared to the bright field as well as compared to the dark field microscopy. Okay, But it's also sometimes used when we need to see the sample with uh, the extremity structures with much details. Okay, To count them and all, it's always a great help. And to see the live cell imaging, it's also a very good uh, and cheaper expense because it only requires a filter which can be clearly fitted and adjusted to uh, what we have as a light microscope as an addition to the light microscope so that's another advantage of the bright field uh, the dark field microscopy okay so that's all about it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more of this video at your place and one more thing if you want to learn all the different microscopy techniques in details then watch the series of microscopy and I believe you are going to get benefit.